Today in class, we're going to take a look at pen balances and how we can use them to solve an algebraic equation. You need to think about a pen balance, like this one here in the picture, as the left side of the pen balance being the left side of the equation and the right side of the pen balance being the right side of the equation. So if we have 4 in the left balance, we need to have 4 in the right pen. And if we're going to add 2 to the left, you can see the left side has gotten a lot heavier. So whatever I do to the left side, I have to do to the right side to keep it balanced. And that works the same way if I subtract numbers from the left. So I subtracted 1. I've got to subtract 1 from the right pan and then they're back and balanced. So we can use this idea to solve algebraic equations. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use this pan balance to solve the equation x plus 2 equals 7. And we're going to say that the blue piece is actually the x and that the little yellow pieces are worth 1 each. So they're going to be a unit. And what we have to do is we have to isolate the variable. So we want the x on the left side by itself. In order for us to do that, we have to take off two of the yellow units from the left side. And that's going to leave us with just the x on the left side all by itself. Now, as you can see, the left side of our pan balance is up higher, so the right side is heavier. So for us to solve for x, we have to take away two weights from the right side. And now it's gone back and is balanced again. So our answer is x equals, and if we count up all of our yellow, we have 5. We can also do the same type of idea, but draw them ourselves. So we can do bigger numbers. We can solve equations like 2x equals 18. And what we can do is put in a weight that we call x, and we'll put in another weight that we call x. Because on the left side, we have two x's. And on the right side, we're going to put in 18. Now, if we want to know how much 1x is, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to break up that 18 on the right pan into two weights the same size. So they're both going to be 9. If we take out an x on the left, we must take out a weight of the same size on the right, which is a 9. And then our balances will be x on the left and 9 on the right. So we have x equals 9. And you learned last day how to verify. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check and see if our answer is right. Our equation was 2x equals 18. 2x means 2 times x and we want to see if that will equal 18. We said x is 9 so we're going to put the 9 in the bracket and 2 times 9 is 18. So since the left side equals the right side we know we got the right answer. We'll do one more now. This one's going to be a little bit harder. We're going to do 2m plus 6 equals 14. So we need 2m weights we don't know how much they weigh yet. And we have a 6 weight on the left pan. And that is balanced or equal to 14. Now, we want to isolate the variable. So we want the m's in the left pan all by themselves. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out that 6. But in order to take out a 6 from the left pan, we're going to need a 6 in the right pan but there's no 6 there. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up 14 into two weights that still weigh 14, a 6 pound weight and an 8 pound weight. Now we can take out a 6. So on our left side, we have left 2 M's and an 8 pound weight. Now we need to break up our 8 pound weight into two weights that will equal our two M's. So we can take one out 
and we can take one out. And what will happen now is we're left with n equals 4. And that's our answer. So right before we finish, we're going to verify our answer to make sure that we have done it correctly. We want to check and see if 2 times 4 plus 6 is equal to 14. We're going to do our order of operations. 2 times 4 is 8. We'll add our 6 and see if it equals 14. And when you do 8 plus 6, we get 14. So we know that we got the correct answer. And that's how you solve using pan balances.